Well, it's Tuesday, mm -hmm. and uh, we're actually going to do something with H.O. That's a good, uh, a good scale. Yeah. That's a good scale. H.O. And, <laughs> and it's my old scale. Oh, oh. And actually, I bought these after I had given up H.O., which we've got all these H.O. Yeah, models. Those are cool, though. But I just thought, these are the coolest, and I had a couple of them on my uh, layout, and it was Jordan Miniatures. Oh, neat. And they made trucks and cars and Model Ts and just some of the cool, and, and the stuff's still available. Oh, is it? Um, I, I, think, I think the entire product line is available through Walther's. Oh, okay. But what Walther's, uh, what Jordan did and Walther's continued is they were making a lot of uh, circus stuff. Oh, fun. How and fun would that be? Is that the neatest thing? No kidding. And I love the circus trains, and there's people who do nothing but model H.O. Circus. Mm -hmm. We know a couple, and, and they come to the train shows, and those they'll set just... up those huge oh. circus, and they'll have, like, right. the three tents and the three rings in the t Anyway, these are Jordan Miniature Circus models. Well, the box is just colorful and, the, and neat. The boxes are neat and they're oh, way man. nicer than when Jordan was making them. It says Jordan. Uh-huh. Jordan Miniatures. Um, this is a Model T and um, it, but it's a Model T Calliope. Oh, neat. And I just, this is so much like what my brother wanted to build. I was he just going to say, David. The <laughs> widget, the, you know, and he, he actually was going to build only it was going to be a player piano. Oh. And, and I bought this to build, and, and as you can see, it never has been built. Look at that. But I actually ended up buying, you know me, I just, every train show, I'd grab another. But mm -hmm. there's the front fenders. Oh, that's neat. But the, the part that blows my mind is the, the calliope itself. Get it out of here it's, without it's, destroying oh, it, all It's that. actually pretty small and fragile. Yeah. But I could just see really painting this thing up. Right. But there's <gasps> Look the, at that. There's the calliope pipes. Oh my. And I can see that all sort of layered in behind. Mm hmm. And, and um, the. Um, top of the vehicle. It, it, the vehicle itself sort of reminds me of the Creeders popcorn wagon. Right, right. Which is another one of these as they did because Creeders did um, both a popcorn wagon, a horse-drawn popcorn wagon, mm -hmm. and then they did a, a Creeders popcorn truck. Okay. And, um, and, and all of those things have been modeled by Jordan Miniatures and then that whole thing was bought out by Walther's, the mm -hmm. biggest the biggest name in in, in these things. And uh, but it's really some first class stuff. Oh, look at that! The castings are beautiful. The castings are tiny, just spectacular. But perfect. Look at that. Is that just neat? Oh, that would be a fun, fun and I project. Just, wouldn't that be fun to build? Maybe mm -hmm. you want to build it. Oh yeah. Because you're into really, really small, small, tiny, tweaky, <laughs> tiny, teeny, oh, tiny, tiny stuff. things. There's right. the floor. Oh my. But it's, um, and um, I don't know if it's uh, got a picture. It doesn't. It doesn't but it's a, a it builds up into a Model T, which is one of my favorite Neat. vehicles. Uh, that looks very much like a Model T Creeders mm -hmm. popcorn wagon, only it's a Calliope. Neat. Instead. Oh, and I man. Just, I just think that that would be so darn cool. And then uh, by way of augmenting, oh, here's the... The sides. All the sides of it, look at that. Isn't that just the neatest thing? Oh my goodness. And and you'd have to, you know, really get in there and paint all that to, oh, to really look. Right. And that and speaking of the horse drawn things. version, then here's the horse drawn version. Mmm. And um, cast in white so that we can tell them apart, mm -hmm. fortunately. Oh good. But um, and there's the uh, all the little the, different the parts. Little sides of the, that the calliope. Is oh my gosh. So I just, I could really see, I mean, you'd really have to do some delicate painting. I wonder if the rub and, and buff would work. You'd have to paint the inside like red and then the little raised parts. Yeah. 
like a rub and buff with your, you know, your the gold that you rub on with your finger. Yeah, because I mean, because here's the... you, if you try painting that, it just run down the end. I'm sure. And and here we we see an actual in this case the a picture of it on, mm -hmm. on one of the box art. They don't right. have the model T. Right. But they do have the, the horse-drawn version. And they did a whole series of oh these horse-drawn circus wagons for the circus modelers mm -hmm. and, and lion cages and all kinds yeah. of stuff. But uh, my affinity for, for pipe organs, I fell in love with the calliope. Who wouldn't uh, fall in love with so it, though? I, I think, you know me, I'm hopeless. I think I've got three of each. Really? Yeah, because I just, every time I went to a train show, it's like, oh, I'm going to build one of those. Mm. I got to buy one just in case I've lost parts. Well, I got something to look forward to when it gets cold and snowy again. Yeah. Because, yeah, if I had my knee surgery, I could actually work on something like this and not yeah. be missing life too much. Not too while much. While I'm healing up. No. Hands still because. work. Let's see if we can get this, this guy open and pull that piece out of there. Mm-hmm because I really think... I've got scissors. <laughs> yeah. I'm more of a rip it until, rip it, it, open. until it opens. Mm -hmm. There's the axles. There's some little fine wires, so be really careful. Isn't you can name? see the, the detailed casting work Yes. of all of the little figures that, like you say, would be <sighs> gilded and painted right. in bright colors. And I could the, just see it done in red and gold. The same, uh, it uses a different calliope than the, than the other one, but um, I don't uh, see the calliope pieces. I'd steal the calliope pieces. Out of, oh, there's the calliope yeah, pieces. Yeah, they're right there. there on the top. We'll steal the calliope temporarily from the Model T. So you can see how that works. So you can see how that would look. Uh, with the, uh, isn't that just... That is, and there's the boiler because mm -hmm. calliopes run on steam, <laughs> and the idea of blowing raw steam up to an organ pipe because it hit the temperature hits it, and it changes pitch because the thing is heating up. It's just, oh my! That's why calliopes sound so not that musical, but, but, but loud. They, yeah, but they are. The goal the was you'd be able to hear this this thing playing from two or three miles away. Yes. And that's all we cared about. Anyway, there it is. <laughs> two different calliopes. A horse-drawn calliope and a Model T truck oh. calliope. Well, that's something to look forward to this winter because I have about bought every other model with the COVID lockdown. So. All available from the great circus train that is from neat. Walther's originally Jordan That is Jordan super Rogers. neat. Isn't wow, that the that's coolest cool. thing? So I'm, I'm excited. Those are those will be added to the to-do list. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, and like I say... we always have those days where we can't do a thing but sit and, inside and watch the snow come down. So. And, and if we screw something up or we lose a part, that's why I bought several of them. <laughs> Because they're not terrible. As expensive. I'm finding out, that is not a bad practice. That is and not And then you a have a junk practice. drawer with spare parts. I'm trying to see. Uh, $9. They're $9 a piece. So I just kept buying them. Yeah. Might as well. That's me. <laughs> oh, I got to buy one of those. Yeah. Support the local industry. <laughs> Anyway, uh, if you haven't been over the channel, pop over to the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Mm -hmm. And the easy way to get over there and subscribe is the blue button. Are you ready? Zoink! <laughs> right there, the blue button. Well, we're not sure how you found this video on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here on Sunday. Because mm -hmm. we're moving on with the railroad. Boy, we are. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you see then. Ya. Bye. Bye-bye.